Well, today we're going to talk about the Gnosis and how do they feel when you accept the discard and you go no contact. Well, this is going to irritate them. It's going to cause them to not know what to do. It's going to be fine for a month or so because they're going to be with their new shiny toy, you know, that they have monkey branch to. But eventually what's going to happen is, is they're going to realize that they haven't been hearing from you. So in the beginning, it's not uncommon for one of two things to happen. Either you start chasing them right away and they're kind of used to that and that's when they get negative supply from you because they know that they're needed and wanted from you and then positive supply from the the new supply but sometimes what happens is and this is a commonality as well is that you'll take uh, quite a few weeks and you'll be kind of happy because you've been wore down so much that a break from the narcissist is really <laughs> A really good thing so the first couple two to three weeks typically if you were with them for quite a while then it's not gonna really bother you too much sometimes but then after that is when you'll start to feel the need to want that <laughs> what what they call the narcissist hit when they're talking about how you're kind of get you kind of addicted to them so that's when you know you'll start to if you were with them for a long period of time one of those two things will happen typically more the first um in the case of me i always you know didn't mind for three to four weeks because man i needed recovery but then it would kind of increasingly get worse on the end of person that got discarded so it, my I guess my point to all that is is that it could take a month month and a half before of, of you going no contact, accepting the discard, that the narcissist starts to get wind that there's something kind of eerily going on that is not common to them, that they're not commonly used to seeing. Because used to, what they're used to seeing is, is maybe a break for a while, but then you just start chasing them hard. And then they get negative supply from that because you get in a bunch of big fights and they triangulate you with the new supply and vice versa and all that. When you go no contact except the, the discard, it's almost like after you get to a, like a month, month and a half, two months, you're starting to get to a point to where the narcissist knows that you should have contacted them by now because that's what the construct would have told them. Like there's probably an issue here, but you just continue to keep looking forward and, and healing, even whether it's hard or not then they're gonna actually start to reach out to try to hoover you or to check on you or to heat check you. Okay, so that's something to be aware of because you wanna go completely no contact and no contact for life. But what you're gonna find is, is that the narcissist is gonna be tired of the, the new supply by then and they're gonna be looking for somebody else to start monkey branch two while they're devaluing them they're going to start getting them probably into devalue mode after two to three months but what happens to them is, is as you continue to go to a contact they have to be in control power and control through their supply that is how they live okay and to be and part of power and control is to show no emotions okay they have to be almost like emotionless so that when they see you or if they, you know, anything happens where there's a contact between you two, um, that it's going to look like, uh, you know, kind of like you don't matter um, and it's not bothering them a bit. So you don't want to show any emotions either. You want to mirror that part back to them. A lot of times you don't want to mirror the narcissist because if the, mirror, if the narcissist rages on you, for instance, you wouldn't want to rage back. That's not going to do anything for you. It's just going to help them. But in the, in the case of no contact and, you know, you have them blocked and everything, um, they're going to show indifference. And so you got to show indifference, except if anything, either show indifference as well. But but with that, I would say show smiles because the narcissist absolutely hates when you're happy and that will just make things harder on the narcissist. But when you go no contact and accept a discard, what happens is the narcissist starts to feel discarded because that's kind of what happens. What happens is you've re, re <laughs> you've uh, 
you've reverse discarded them is kind of what it not in the beginning but over time it becomes a reverse discard when you just have accepted it from day one and so that's where you gain all your power back is in that two to three month of no contact period of time that's when you gain all your power back but to hold on to your power is to continue to reject the narcissist because if you go back to the narcissist then of course or if you just break no contact just for uh, anything because they're going to heat check and then they're going to hoover or try to hoover or they're going to use by proxy by monkeys to get at you they usually never will try to come at you straightforward they always come like i say they always come at you uh, from around the corner but you don't want to take the narcissist back because the narcissist will use you and abuse you again they just come in all sweet and kind humble and coy but they're usually low on their self-esteem and they're low on their supply fuel and energy so what they'll do is they'll come in like that all humble and and needy and they'll be needing needing you and act like you know that you're their last hope and uh, you know it sounds good and all but if you take them back within just a couple of weeks you will be degraded and they will have sucked all the fuel off of you and may have even discarded you within just a little bit of time like that three to four weeks no telling you know because they're always monkey branching somebody else knowing that you know you're not going to work out because that's how they look at everybody except for the first cycle when you first very first time that you meet them they may feel little pieces that you may be the perfect one but outside of that when you've been over and over going through cycle and cycle you're just kind of like a rest area for them and you know they will use you just like uh you know a coke bottle they will drink the coke and they will you know throw the bottle which is you into the recycle bin and when your bottle gets recycled cleaned up and refueled and refilled with coca-cola they will come back to re for you so they could drink that coca-cola again which is the representation of the fuel and then of course they will throw you back into the garbage so that you can be recycled again through the factory and to not call them back or to reach out to them until you are refueled and that's kind of how they look at you and so you got to look at them the same way if you're gonna be continually treated like the coke bottle then you want to be a good entrepreneur in relation to how you expend your coca-cola because you don't want to do anything that is going to be fruitless to you and completely you giving all of your good hard-earned blood sweat and tears to somebody who doesn't give a damn about you so give me a like a subscription and a thumbs up i hope this some um, help this helps somebody out there understand how the narcissist thinks you know, and why you should accept the discard and put them on block and don't fall for any heat checks hellos calls flying monkeys turn everything down if anything you show no emotion or a smile and you keep it moving because there's somebody out there that really does care about you and there'll be somebody that you will find in your future that will give you the desires of your heart all right so stand tall soldier up all the time peace out love y'all